Hi folks and welcome to this video which is on these six toys that are out for Christmas this year. And if after watching this video you decide to purchase one of these, I would be much obliged if you use the link below in the description as it helps the channel. So this is the first one we're going to look at, Tucker, My Sleepy Puppy. This is the cheapest out of these toys. It's been reduced to just $13.61. So this dog has three touch sensors on the head, chin and belly. And it has a press button nose. And the press button nose itself gives lots of different reactions. So this is just a few of the reactions it gives when you press the nose. If you want to see all of the reactions, then click on the link to the unboxing video in the description below. So this pup gives a different set of reactions depending on which touch sensor you touch. So the first of these reactions is when you hit the ticklish spot. bit of an evil laugh. <laughs> That's even more evil. The next reaction is falling asleep when you touch the sweet spot. Oh, his eyes are going. Yes. At the moment, it's the belly that's sending him to sleep. And the third set of reactions is making different sorts of woofy barks. <laughs> the really neat thing about this pop is, every time you power him up, the reactions you get from the sensors change. So for instance, the chins are making him chatter. There's little woofs at the moment. But if you power him down and power him back up, the chin is now making him laugh. And there's one final little extra that you get. And occasionally, when he wakes up, one of these sensors will make him grumpy. <laughs> so the next one we're going to look at is My Puppy's Home by Moose Toys. And this costs $59.99. So the special thing about this toy is that it comes as a flat pack and you put it together just as you would a piece of flat pack furniture. The instructions are super easy to follow and I don't think a child would need that much direction to be able to learn to put this together. And what's really nice about it is that it's easy to dismantle and take apart so that you can repeat the process as many times as you like. And the second feature of this toy is its surprise element. When you pour chilled water into the dish, paw prints appear. And when you hammer the nail into the nameplate, you immediately hear a wolf and you open the door and the dogs appeared. The dog itself can be played with in various ways. It has a touch sensor on the top of its head. Yeah, that touch, that touch sensor is really responsive, isn't it? Mm. And the pup makes various noises when you stroke it on this touch sensor. 
It also comes with an interactive bone accessory. Talk of the tongue. Oh, yes. And the pup gives different reactions when you touch the touch sensor when the bone is in its mouth. And quite a range of noises, uh, chewing noises, and slurping noises. And... Oh, oh he's, he's, uh, he was he's vibrating. Growled. Was he? Yeah. When he, when he growled. When he growled, yeah, there was a vibration in his head. The next one we're going to look at is the new Furby. And this costs $69. So this Furby has five different modes and you put them into the different modes by using voice commands. And the first mode is Dance Party. Hey Furby, Dance Party. And the Furby has 18 different songs that it can sing in this mode. The next mode is Tell My Fortune. Tell My Fortune. <laughs> That's nice and responsive. Mr. Furby, rub Furby Belly to see future. <laughs> The next mode is light show. Light show. Cyber Furb. In this mode, Furby's ears light up in different colours and you can tap the head for different light patterns. Oh, looks like they've got different names then. Double Rainbow! The next mode is called Let's Chill. Let's Chill. Okay, time to relax. Sit comfortably and let's take deep breaths. I don't like this. Ready? Yeah. Close eyes and think of happy place. Breathe in. Breathe out. And as well as these relaxation exercises in this mode, there's also Furby affirmations. Furby affirmations. Take deep breaths. And repeat after Furby. Ready? Ready? Today will be bestest day ever. It's <laughs> great. And Furby has lots of different affirmations. I counted 18 altogether. All car problems have solutions. And even when the Furby's not in one of those oh, modes. Yeah. It uses its microphone uh -huh. Where to, the third? to respond to your voice. Uh -huh. Yeah, keep talking. And the final thing you can do with your Furby. Are you talking to Furby? Is feed it. Ooh. Ooh. Plastic pizza. Furby favorite. And the next one we're going to look at is Bitsy. This is by Spin Master. And it costs $29.99. So something important to note before talking about what this toy does is that there's a warning on the box that this toy may trigger epilepsy in sensitised individuals because of the flicker of the screen. The flickering isn't as bad in real life as it looks in videos but it certainly does flicker. So when you first open your Bitsy box, you have this little pup pet. You look after the pup by feeding it and stroking it. And then the pup will develop to Super Bitsy and you get access to all of these other pets. There's 15 all together. And as you look after these other pets, pets they too become super bitsies and once they're super bitsies you get access to a, a different game for each pet 
There's a lot of variation with these games. This one, which is the game that you get with the snail, you plant a seed and then you tip the box to water it with the watering can. You've got that nice sound effect. And then you shake it and the sun comes out and makes the flower grow. I thought that was really nice. The next one we're going to look at is the new version of Fingerlings. This is by Huawei and it costs $14.99. It differs from the original Fingerlings in that it's got this nice plush covering on the head, a glowing heart and a hinged tail that allows it to sit down. Like the original Fingerlings, they respond to movement <laughs> and to touch. But unlike the original fingerlings, these fingerlings react differently whether they're on your finger or not. Yeah, it makes nicer noises when it's on your finger and you touch the nose. You also get different reactions if you touch more than one sensor at once. <laughs> That's cute. And finally, we have Pixel. A Coder's Best Friend by Educational Insights. And this is currently reduced on Amazon for $87.99. So this is a robotic dog that you can code in either Blockly or Python. Tutorials are provided for both Blockly and Python and these are very clear and easy to follow. However, after completing all the tutorials, I found that though the Blockly was very easy to use, you didn't really seem to be given enough information to really code properly with the Python. There is an extensive list of commands with the Python code, such as dance. I'm just going to have a dance. Mm. This still lights as well. And listen. So it's now listening, but it won't pick my voice up because it's got to be quite loud. Yeah, it's got to be loud. It's worked. Okay. But I don't think that it really enables you to write your own blocks of code in Python. It's more really just for kids to have fun and learn a bit about Blockly. So this has just really been a brief summary of each of these interactive toys. If you would like to see a full unboxing and review of each one, click on the links in the description below. But that's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching as always, and hope to see you next time.